All right, hello everybody, Devin up here, and today I got a video for you guys, and it is on this big guy right here. Yes, you see it, it's the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I customized it myself with the i9, and let's get into it, and I'll tell you about the specs. <music> Started. So Apple has a new way of unboxing things. This little flat right here it makes things much easier. So let's get it started. See, I'm not trying to nitpick, but come on, man. Like, it's just stuff like this you just pick up on, you know. Hopefully they didn't toss around my box. Let's hope not. So let's take this off. Got the MacBook itself. We got this plastic cover. And let's unwrap this. Dang, this is huge, man. Look at my old MacBook compared to this. So we first order the box. Of course, you get the MacBook. And inside here, get the guidebook. Get the Apple stickers. Okay, and that's it. Next you get the Apple charger, and it's a huge block too. If you have the 13 inch MacBook charger, you make sure you wanna label it, because if you use the 13 charger on accident, and if you go traveling, it's not gonna work. Make sure you label it 16 and 13, of course. And that's about it. All right, let's open this baby up, and let's get started. Oh. And once you open it up, the Apple logo starts up right away and it's loaded. All right, so when you first start it up, you see the language. It also has the Touch ID, which also has Apple Pay. It also has a look mode where it can have the light mode, the dark mode, and auto. So let's talk about the layouts. Apple kept it simple. They didn't really change much. On top, you still have the Apple logo. On the bottom, you still have the fans as you see. And the design of the computer, still the same. Also, speaking of the fan, Apple has redesigned the fan that has a 28% airflow increase while also making the heat sink 35% bigger from the last model. So performance wise, that's gonna be a huge plus because while it's exerting itself, the fans and that heat is gonna exhaust itself from the computer. It's gonna cool it down and make the airflow better and run better. Apple has also redesigned its keyboard, so it had slashed its old keyboard, the butterfly keyboard, and now we issue the new keyboard, the magic keyboard. And there are some differences between the old keyboard and the new keyboard. First, it's the physical layout. You can kind of see it looks more spread. The arrows are different. Also, when it comes to the touch, it's a lot better, it feels a lot better. The butterfly keyboard, you can feel it's kind of hard, while the magic keyboard, it's, it's more of a soft, gentle touch. And if a lot better on the hands. Me personally, I don't really have an issue with the butterfly keyboard. I do feel a difference with the new Magic Keyboard and it feels a lot better on the hands. Also, we can't forget about the escape key being its own button and also on the right side, touch ID button being its own button. And also that actually is well-rounded by having its own button. You can feel the lift off of it like it's its own key button. Whereas the old previous model, it was all one touch bar. Whereas this, it has its own button. I'm gonna talk about performance because not a lot of people knows about all of this power performance, metal performance, etc. Listen. I'm gonna cut it right here, keep it simple. 2019 slash 20 model. Apple has upgraded 2019 to 20 models, graphics cards, the 5300 and the 5500 chips. Pretty much newer, the better, and it's a lot faster. The 55, it's a lot faster. It's one of the fastest chips out there right now. Uh, IBM just created those chips and 
just in time when they made these computers. Apple has gotten a hold of them and put it in their laptops for a great performance. Now for the difference between the i7 and the i9. Currently at the moment, of course the i9 is gonna be faster, but for the peak performance, it's not really much of a difference. Much of a difference, it is, but not too far off. Right now, we hear Apple's working on the Pro mode. Hopefully the Pro mode would definitely help out with that i9 performance, but for right now the i9 performance is still kind of new on the Apple side and we're gonna see where it takes. Hopefully this Pro mode helps out with the performance in some kind of way. Okay, let's get into the display. Now the 16 inch is amazing. It's beautiful, it's sharper. Now I'm gonna show you something. If you just look at the bezels, you can really see the bezels is actually a lot slimmer than the previous model, which is a little bit thicker. So you get more screen in this model than the previous model. So Apple wants to make sure that you get all that screen time and also it's a lot sharper. Colors are more vibrant. The screen is bigger, sharper. It does come with the refresh rate. So it will constantly refresh the screen of the display where it doesn't have any issues or glitches. So thank you finally, cause I know I had issues with my 13 inch model where you just see something stuck there. And it's like, what the heck is going on? Let's talk about the battery. So Apple has fortunately took advantage of the space with the MacBook by creating a bigger battery. That it comes to a 100 watt battery. So that is barely legal to take on airplane. You get more battery time and also it'll be great for its performance. Okay, let's get into the speakers. So Apple has took things a step further by implementing a six speaker sound system with a dual, with a dual force canceling woofers. That is amazing. The laptop will sound loud, but it's not gonna be competing with the sounds with each other. If it's kind of hard to explain, but you know you to turn something loud and you just hear just a bunch of nonsense. With this, you're gonna hear that surround sound speaker in front of you and behind you and it's gonna sound clear, it's gonna sound great with each other. It's not competing against each other. Now the old MacBook, it was just one speaker here, another speaker here, go at So I'm gonna do a sound test and let me know what you guys think about this. But you don't care, you're on the way. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air. Yes, and also let me not forget the worst thing that I do not like about this is that it still has four Thunderbolt 3s on each side. I really seriously wish that they would add an SD card or a micro SD slot, something because people who make videos, music, photographers, I don't mind carrying my dongles, but I have to carry an attachment onto an attachment onto an attachment. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. And with that, it's kind of annoying if it just had the capability of just sticking the SD card in there and like it's upload fine, thank you. Now, still having the MacBook Air, the 2015 version, awesome, because guess what that has? That has an SD card slot, that has a USB slot. Like, I'm not saying I edit on the MacBook Air 15, I still have it, but the fact that it's there and they have the option to do it, like, there's no excuse. It was there, you took it away, and now you wanna bring it back. Hopefully you do. I am complaining, please bring that back. Everyone been calling for it, it's annoying. Some people like it, good for you, I don't. Please bring it back, Apple. All right, thanks for watching my video. This is Devin Up. You guys have a blessed day. Subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. You know, just follow me. Let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys gonna get it? Do you like it? That's enough, so subscribe.